Hello, and welcome to Sports Look, the program that profiles an amateur athlete every week. Sports Look provides valuable information for all sports enthusiasts. This week on Sports Look, host Nancy Blasey looks into cross country running with her very special guest, Eric Bird. Eric is a cross country runner and is returning to Shoals High School as a senior this year. Now, let's join Nancy. Thank you, Pam. I'd like to introduce my guest today, Eric Bird. He's a cross-country star from Shoals High School. Thank you for being here today, Eric. Glad to be here, Nancy. So, cross-country is your sport. Tell me, what exactly is cross-country? Well, it's a 5K race, which is approximately three miles, and it's run on a course around your school, which is, can be through woods and around your fields and over creek beds and even on sidewalks. Well, is this a team sport or is it for an individual? It's definitely a team sport, although only your top five finishers score and your final score. Uh, first place gets one point, second place gets two points, and on up. And your low score wins the meet. Mm -hmm. Well, when did you start running cross country, Eric? Well, my coach asked me to run at the end of my sophomore year. So I tried out beginning my junior year, and I really surprised myself. Well, I understand that you're also running on the track team. What events do you run in track? Well, I run mainly distance on the track, the two mile, the mile, and the half mile, but I also enjoy running the 400 and the mile relay. Well, when does the track season start as opposed to the um, cross country season? Well, track season, a, a spring sport, starts in the middle of March, I'd say, and the practice, and then the season doesn't start until the beginning of April, in the middle of April. Uh, cross country which is a fall sport, starts in the middle of August, and, but mm -hmm. the season doesn't start until a few weeks into the school year. Mm -hmm. Well, when do you manage to find time to stay in shape? Well, I like to stay in shape year-round. Uh, for cross-country, I like to run mostly distance during the summer mm -hmm. and build up until the season starts. Uh, for track season, it's basically the same thing during the winter, but at a lower level. Mm -hmm. Well, is weight training involved at all? Or? Well, I don't include weight training in my program, but I'm sure a lot of people use it to their best advantage. Uh, I would think three times a week would be most appropriate for those runners. Uh -huh. Well, I was just curious, what is your best time in the mile and in cross country? Well, for the mile, 4.36 is my best time, and the 5K cross country, a 16.27 is my best so far. Oh, well, it looks like you've done quite well from the looks of these trophies here. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Yeah, uh, this here is my most valuable runner for cross country. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like this one. Uh, I got it for having the, being the best runner on my team, which is calculated on the l l least points that uh, your team members get. Mm -hmm. And this next cross country trophy is for the uh, Shoals Invitational, which was the first time a Shoals runner had won it. Mm -hmm. And these other two are for a track season. Uh, this one is for. Mm, uh, my most valuable runner, mm -hmm. and this next one is for the best distance runner. And these two plaques are for blue chip, which I one for cross country and one's for track. Hmm, well, I, I imagine that when you first start running that injuries can be quite a problem. What injuries are most common and what can you do to prevent them? Well, the most common injuries I can think of would be stress fractures, shin splints, and pole muscles. Mm -hmm. uh, your stress fracture is just a, a crack in the bone, and your shin splints is a pulling of the muscle away from your bone tissue, and your pole muscle is your basic charley horse. Mm -hmm. uh, time will heal most of these. Uh, shoes can prevent most of these injuries, as shown in the picture here. Mm -hmm. The shoes are mostly made for a shock absorber to absorb the shock your legs get. Uh, the white part there, it's mostly just a shock absorber, as I said. Mm -hmm. And right above the white part, there's a little external heel counter, which is a plastic piece to keep your rear, rear foot from moving about. Mm -hmm. uh, and well, how much can a shoe like that cost? It must be pretty expensive. It can run from 40 to $150, it really. Mm -hmm. That is pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah. What are some of the other dangers that we should look out for while we're running? Well, night running, as shown in the picture here, is extremely dangerous, especially if these runners don't have reflective tape on their suits. Mm -hmm. And in this next picture, uh, there's danger can also occur from the 
beginning of a large cross-country race, a mm -hmm. lot of shoving and jostling, where people can fall down and be trampled upon. Has that ever happened to you? No, it has never happened to me, but there is a lot of shoving involved. Well, I've noticed when I've seen runners running around that they have some small weights in their hands sometimes. What are these doing? Would you recommend them? Well, these are mainly for building up your upper body strength and body tone. I wouldn't recommend them because they throw off your stride, mm -hmm. and they're helpful for the runner trying to get into shape. Well, what type of clothing would you suggest you wear while running? Well, there's a lot of different styles of clothing around. These running suits are extremely optional. You can They're mostly just one layer of cloth, weatherproof, to let your moisture evaporate out mm -hmm. and keep the water in, out. <laughs> See, what about running in the winter? Are there special clothes for that? Yes, there's these new advantages companies have come out with, the turtlenecks shirt and the mittens and the tights. Mm -hmm. The tights also give you another advantage and keep your muscles from tearing or giving you cramps. Well, thank you very much for being here today, Eric. I'd l I really enjoyed talking to you, and best of luck in the future. Please stay tuned with us for our next episode of Sports Look, and we'll interview another promising athlete. This is Nancy Blazy, your host.